and welcome back for another video um, the videos on the Radtel 920 RT920 if you hear me saying 29 or whatever I'm dyslexic so I keep messing that up but uh, yeah it's the RT920 what a cracking little radio this thing is um, it's, it's dual band but it can transmit on 4 meters, 6 meters, 11 meters and 10 meters and it uh, does medium wave and, and, sh and short wave bands and it also receives on HF um, but as for transmitting on 4 meters, 6, 11 and 10 I wouldn't because this is actually designed just for a t t uh, 2 meter and 77's radio uh, on the mother bands you'll get spurious emissions so uh, I'd only transmit and I'd only advise to transmit on um, 2 and 70 meters but yeah like I said cracking little radio uh, it, it takes me back to my scanner days I've been messing with this uh, I've had it about a week now and I've had loads of fun with it I really have um, and this was uh, 50 foot four pounds off um, Amazon uh, it's gone up actually uh, I checked the other day it's gone up but uh, yeah it's supposed to be a 10 watt radio on 270 um, I'm not tested it but it's working because I've had conversations on it and obviously you, you, you've got your memory bands um, you know uh, your you, you, you VFO mode and and your memories so yeah i've just put a few uh i've manually put uh oops that's the airport manchester airport i put some uh aircraft bands in uh mainly Ma uh, manchester airport and i put some pmr frequency in and it's easy to do um the the radio is easy in a bowl thing to actually put memories in um and like i said what a cracking little thing um I've used the radio just listening to like Radio One during the day when I'm when I'm walking about. I've just been scanning around really, but like I said, I've had so much fun. Uh, I'll take a few seconds. This I've already pre-programmed uh, 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 forty meters into it. Uh, like I said, it does all the HF bands. Um, we have local lads on ten meters. I was listening to them the other day on it. Um, this is a female, female, female connector, and there's when you, when you get the radio, it's a top like this, so it looks like the VFO knob. But basically, uh, you unscrew it, and there's a, a female uh, SMA connector, and I've just connected it to uh, the antenna switch. So uh, yeah, you can listen to the HS bands. Typical, there's no one there now. One second, I'll just find someone and program it in. I expect better to turn the volume up on the radio, wouldn't it? Yeah, the bands have been really bad today. We've had uh, a geometric storm. Yeah, it's just Europeans coming at the moment. Right, we're still where that is. Seven, one, six, two. Oh, hello, is the 8-4 Tango Bravo, established RS-23, right. <laughs> right, let's go back on the... Oh. Two approach, two, three, right, is the 8-4 Tango Bravo. Frequency mode. <laughs> yeah, I just took, took that off uh, the air bands. Yeah, it's been pretty bad today. Anyway, let's let me do this. I'll tune a, a, another frequency in a minute. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you've got your steps on it. Ah, the bandwidth's changed again. Uh, I'll still look at the bandwidth. Uh, you press the star button, and then you can, cha you can change the stuff around on the bottom here. So, let's go to 3K. Uh... Star, and then you've got your AGC and you've got a, a BFO mode for fine tuning. 
Uh, so let's go back to that station and see if we can do. Ah, it's gone to a sideband as well. Uh, so let's change that. Yeah, you just got to keep an eye on things. Hang on, I'm, I messed it up. Upper side band. But it's all been part of the fun, this, to be quite honest with you. So, exit. Let's try and find another one. Let me stop transmitting again. Turn this volume down a second. Uh, Soz law on it when you're trying to video. <laughs> yeah, it's all Europeans. Right, a German station there, so let's have a look. Seven, one, six, nine. No, hang on a minute, what am I doing here? Exit. Seven, one, six, nine. See, there's no fancy malarkey, I'm just, I'm not, nothing on the fly. Yeah, he's got a little bit of a pile up that guy, hasn't he? So anyway, that's just an example. A long example, uh, I'll probably shorten this, <laughs> uh, that you can use the HF bands. Uh, and if I just go back to this, one second. No, come on. Yeah, I've been using this all week, but I'm forgetting what I'm doing here. So I'm, I'm trying, what I'm trying to do now is put this back on FM, uh, just to show you the radio, uh, the radio frequencies. So press OK, go to FM, OK, go to FM, missed it, FM, press OK. And now it should be back, to, whoops a daisy, now it should be back to uh, normal radio. So, whoops, sorry, what a bad do. Yeah, so put that, turn that off for a second. So, uh, yeah, it's got normal radio. Um, Back to the video. Um, yeah, I'm knocking everything all over to show you. So anyway, where was I? So yeah, so you can receive the HF bands. I've, I've been I've been on it all week. Like I said, uh, just listening around the bands. It's better. Work. I'm trying to do a video, so I, I obviously I've been messing it up a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's it's a cracking thing. So anyway, uh, th it, this radio is Bluetooth, and um, you can program it from your phone. Which is quite handy, but I, I find it easy as well, though, uh, just program it normally. Uh, does the no weather satellite? So, if you're in America um, and you buy this radio, it's got we the weather stations on for you, the, the no weather stations, which is quite cool. And uh, like I said, this the Radtel uh, RT920, I always keep trying to say that back to front, it's a cracking little thing. Um, I mean, I've had a lot of fun with it. So, I don't know if you've got one, but if you've got one, leave in the comments you've got one, and tell me what you think of it. And, uh, I, I bet most interested, but, yeah, like I said, I, I've had the feeling of, of the old days when I used to mess about with scanners, um, in my early 20s, um, when I first got licensed, well, before I got licensed, to be fair, I was always messing with scanners, and, uh, I fully enjoyed it. I'll just have a quick look on the band and see if there's anywhere else, and uh, we'll, we'll, I'll try and find somewhere on um, 
20 meters i'll just have a quick look yeah i've just found a problem actually when i said i'd go to 20 meters i tried uh tuning on 20 meters and the bfo's not working the fine tune um i've noticed another youtuber saying that he had to do uh turn this down a second he had to do a um, a download you know from rad cell so obviously this is one of the uh one of the chappies so money. This is what, money, how much it is to if you go by car park a car and the car that's on the radio and this is on the andel yeah the fine tune is not changing anything tuned down tenor but uh, obviously you can see that uh, I'm receiving yeah so what I'm going to have to do is uh, I'll have to send off for a lead actually I haven't got a lead turn that back on yeah I'm going to have to uh, send for a lead uh, to uh, do a download now I've not noticed that on the higher bands, but uh, yeah, it must be a little bit of frequency in the lower bands. But uh, anyway, there you go. So, um, like I said, it uh, leave in the comments if you've got one, because I, I have had I have had fun with that. That's just uh, niff me actually, but uh, it is what it is. Anyway, seventy for now. Geez, old ETX. I want to cry me tea. Yeah. So just a quick uh, look. At the radio like i said uh it, i've had i've had some fun with this little thing and uh for 50 odd quid you can't go wrong really um i watched another video uh tech minds uh, i'm actually on it actually you can hear me on side but i was talking to ian uh can't remember his call sign at the moment but yeah ian is he's, he's also a youtuber um but if you look at Tech Mind's video, he actually goes through these spurious emissions. Uh, it, they're quite dirty on on the bands 4, 6, 11 and 10 metres. Uh, 2 and 70, they're okay, uh, these little radios. But uh, yeah, on, that, on his video, he says the BFO, he had to uh, uh, download the uh, latest um, software. And uh, the BFO started working uh, okay. But anyway, like I said, I've had some fun with this thing. Um, what a great little thing this is uh, for 50 quid. So once I get the uh, software done, I should be able to receive on uh, at the HF bands using the BFO, you know, to fine tune. And I must have just been lucky because uh, I've tried 10 meters Um as well and different bands um i've just worked into saint martin actually on the uh, the 101 and i tried to receive on this thing and i, I can't i can't tune him in so when i've used this and i've been listening uh midweek well last week um i must have just been lucky but uh i still had fun with this i really have and uh like i said in the video if, if you've got one leave a comment and uh, I wonder if you've had the same problem. And just for the uh, video, let's take the screen off. Oh, beautiful. But, uh, yeah, uh, a good do. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, there'll be more updates coming on this thing once I've uh, uh, got the um, the lead so I can get the updates. Uh, and I'm actually going to have a mess with the, uh, the phone because, like I said, it's got Bluetooth, this radio. Uh, so I'll be able to uh, have a mess with that. And I don't think I've shown you, actually. Watch this. I probably won't be able to do it now. There you go. You've got a little scanner in it as well. Uh, I don't know if that's coming through, actually. Um so you can check the frequency it's not coming through that well is it but so it looks white on on the actual camera but uh yeah it's uh 
it's it's got a little uh, spectrum display. So yeah, it's all good stuff. Anyway, I'm just waffling again as normal. So 7-3 for now, and we'll catch you in the next one. GZO DTX. Bye-bye.